What's up, what's up, what's up? So we are back with another reading. Okay, this reading, as you can see by the title, it is what are they lying about? Okay. I have the emojis, the emoji animals at the bottom. And we're gonna get into it. We got three piles today and we doing our first pile here. Uh, what are they lying about? <clears throat> You pick pile number one. Looks like they lying about how stable they are. Somebody acting independent. They really not. Some of them, so they acting independent, but they really not. They really, they depending on a partner. They depending on a family to survive. We're going to get into why they lying too as well. Yeah, they de they're depending on some type of Leo, Sag, Aries to support them at this time. It just gave me, like, they waiting on them to come home with the money. We got the Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, so I just, this could be also be your partner lying about what kind of business or what type of plans they're doing. This could be a partner that's really lazy and they want to act like they're contributing to the to the home and they're not contributing to the home and they don't plan on contributing to the home. So for whatever reason, these people could be talented, but they're lazy. They don't want to do their talents or they don't want to work on their talents. They're not consistent, spirit said. Let me see you. I bet y'all, I had to check the audio. Let me see, what is it? I feel like, in a way, they don't want to fill their own cup up. They're looking for other people to fill their cup up because I guess they're looking for, like, I feel like they want to be a stay-at-home wife or a stay-at-home dad or something, and they're not trying to work. That's just all I'm getting. They're not trying to work. They're not trying to, they're not trying to add to the relationship. Like, if you're thinking that y'all going to eventually be a power couple, that's not going to happen. All they're doing is taking what sounds good and giving it to you. And you're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then when you ask about the update, they already have an excuse. And then I'm also getting, and this might not apply to everybody, but because I don't know. To me, I, I talk in my own perspective sometimes too because i feel like a woman is like a high commodity so i feel like well a lot of people you know see value in women and they want women but i was gonna say that this person if they can't get that with you they're gonna get it with somebody else but that might not be the case for everybody everybody woman can't get another man you know sometimes you know somebody woman here they're not in the best shape to have another man like ain't nobody just gonna pick them off the strength because they didn't let themselves go they didn't have these kids. They didn't stay at home. They didn't got big. Ain't nobody. They don't have no options. They don't have nobody to go to. So that's why they're trying to make it work. But in my mind, I don't even care. This person, I feel like they being sneaky. Like, I saw this one video, and this woman was arguing with her husband had pretty much exposed her. And, they was, and he was like, I give you money, but why are you taking out money in my account? Okay, you watched them? Okay. Okay, you can play. And... And the dude was like, why would you take out, I didn't, I looked at the transactions, why would you take out $20,000 out of my bank account and I give you money? You have your, you have your money. And she was like, just in case, that was my just in case money, just in case you do this or just in case you do that, you know, that me and the kids do it. And I feel like this is the type of woman that you are dealing with. I feel like she might act as if, you know, she don't have no, uh, nothing going on, but I think she's been taking like on the like I think she been taken from the top or she like you've been telling her she been telling you oh it's this much amount of money or it's that amount of money yeah I feel like y'all think it's a change that's about to come I feel like they see you as I don't know I feel like it's a change you about to change like you about to get way colder with this person because now you finna start looking like maybe you don't don't hurt this person now that's all I'm gonna say because I if you do find something which I don't know I feel like you might or you might have to look good and hard to see Maybe she, you know, maybe she don't think you're going to look and it's going to be easy to find. But if she thinks you're going to look or you're going to question, she might have, you know, some booby traps in place to where you don't get the answer that you wanted. 
So I would really just take your time. I wouldn't look like I'm looking for nothing. I would really just take my time and look for stuff. Make sure, you know, if you're looking through the bank statements and stuff, tell her you're trying to do, you're trying to do something bigger and better for y'all and you're just trying to see something, you know? Because to me, it gets me this whole, like, how certain things shouldn't, if this is a marriage or this is somebody you share your house with, this should, certain things in this, in this reading should not be in reverse. So it's telling me it's a lot of lies and secrets here. We have the high priestess here. So that's the truth with the two of swords. Like, yo, it's some high lies and secrets. Some of you guys could have stayed together because it looked good to be together. Not necessarily because y'all still love each other, but because y'all too tied in money-wise with each other. So that's for somebody here, okay? So please like, please share, please subscribe if they resonated to you with you. And we are finna get into power number two. Wait, what are they lying to you about? What are they lying to you about? I hope they made it feel a little bit better because I don't know what's about to come out. What is it about to play? Let me tell y'all something. TikTok that missed my mind was so bad. At the end of the world, when the Lord show us everything, like when we get judged and stuff in the sky, like the sky become a projector and stuff, y'all, I'm going to be, what is that about to play? Like dead ass, like I, jokes to the end. Oh, Lord, we already starting off pile number two with the five of ones, with the six of pentacles, excuse me, with the six of swords. Maybe this, maybe this five of ones came from a six of pentacles energy. Maybe I was breadcrumbing the wrong person, and now you know the wrong people, and now they mad, hungry, fighting. What in the world? Why is this coming out like that? Y'all literally every part. It's like this is like a tiptoe effect. Like one card upside upright, one card reverse, one card upright, one card reverse. What is this? Oh, wow. Wow. What in the world? Hold on. What are they lying about? Oh, my God. I guess they lying about having a carefree life or they're, car they're lying about, they're currently lying about, you know, not having drama or beef. Like, they want everybody to think that they're not beefing and it's beef here. This has to do with, with a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I see Libra energy here. I see Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. The Fool is in reverse, so I'm trying to see what's going on with the Seven of Cups here. So what what what's going on? What are we looking at here? Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! So this is like low key a continuation. Y'all could have seen that reading I did about um this duo about to be slammed. Okay, so evidently it's going to be revealed that somebody was sneaking in line. Like, it's not being clear on what the lie was about, but it has something to do with a new beginning. Somebody was going to make a decision and somebody lied concerning the decision. So it made somebody make a wrong decision. It's like somebody saying, oh, I don't want the... I'm going to find out the truth on my own. I don't want nobody to deter me. But instead of you letting the truth, letting them find out the truth on their own or something, it's like somebody came in and gave them something that they didn't need, like gave them information. Like they lied. Whatever this person came in and told you about this startup, like it's giving me, it was a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius that literally came into your life to stir up drama, mess up your money, and then leave. And because you allowed it, now it puts you in karma because some of you guys could have knew that this was a lie that this person was telling you or this could have like not been true or it could have had more to the story and you didn't question it. You took what this person gave you. And that's why you find yourself unmotivated and you don't know what happened because everything was so bright and now it's so dark. Yep, yeah, you close to a snake. This person is real sneaky. You might meet this person at night. It's like this person acts as if they're knowledgeable. This person is not knowledgeable. This person low-key dark. Like, this person really, like, an envious person. This And they're sad in their own life. They're sad at what their life turned out to be. Maybe they're older. Or maybe y'all the same age and y'all just, you know, y'all didn't live life differently. You might have went through some things. She didn't. Or he didn't. And now, oh, that's the truth. Yeah, it's like this person mad because they like boring and bland and they don't want nobody to have no good success. And they actually find like, who's lying to you is somebody who really not happy with their life. Somebody you know you, that's not happy with their life. Oh, I ain't do nothing but go to work and come home and take care of my child. And, you know, and watch TV. I ain't, I ain't really just do nothing. 
you know, I don't like my job, but, you know, it's the job that I got. Um, I don't really like this, but that's what I have. It's like somebody who doesn't want more. Like, you ask this person about what they want. Um, I didn't thought about it, but, uh, you know, this is a person that don't have no dreams, no aspirations. This person, oops, spirit. This person is really, has turned into a cold person. And I guess now they need somebody to match this coldness. So they, they want they want to turn somebody bad. They want to t- turn somebody into what they need to be with. Like, it's like they don't have anybody. Maybe people were treating them cold. So they decided they're going to pop up and start treating other people cold. They saw that you was a... They preyed on you. They're lying. Like, they, they're they lying. They thought that you was... A, they, if they said that they thought that you was attractive, they thought your money and what you had going on was attractive. They didn't think that you was really attractive. They just knew you were gullible. So they lied about a lie. Like, I must be honest. This whole relationship is a lie. Four of Cups, you should have never accepted it. You accepted karma. And I don't know why I got this nine of cups sitting here smiling at me. If this person tried to steer you against a partner or a lover or make you feel like you was better without this person, that was a lie. Because now this person finna put you through a lot. Like this person, like is about. To, I ain't see the empress, but if this like a new baby mama or something, or this is a new baby daddy, like this person lied to you, and you could have known that you was being lied to, but because you was just so delusional, you just. You know, you didn't know what to do. You know, everybody be there sometimes. Like, everybody gets there sometimes. We just let ourselves be delusional, hoping for the best, you know? But I hope I, you know, cleared up some stuff for you. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later, pile number two. So, pile number three is, pile number three is, I feel like my English voice and Spanish don't go together. Pile number three is, I feel like that's better. I don't know. But my voice and, and, and my tone, they're set in stone. So, can't be switching it up. His stress. That's it. So, let's get into y'all reading. It's a lot. I don't know why I just did all of it. So, maybe this person, like, <laughs> maybe this person got a problem like me. Like, I, sometimes I just be talking and I just be talking. You don't even, like, I just be, my mind just be going. I just be looking at the thoughts. Like, I be sitting back and let my mind be thinking it out. Oh, let's see. What is the truth? What's the truth? Give me the truth. Expose the lies and give me the truth. Somebody lying to you about how they moving. Somebody is lying about how they moving. With this judgment, it gives me karma, but judgment also talks about like, it's like how it's out of nowhere. Like, it's coming up out of nowhere. How, you know, it's time to, like, you know, it's time to for everything to, like, end. Like, in a way. With the judgment, you know, end of the day, like, end of the world, you know, everybody gonna be judged and stuff like that. And then we have the hermit, too. We have the judgment. And then we have the hermit. I don't know. And then we have the king of swords with the eight of wands, the seven of pentacles. Mmm. I feel like this is more so a self thing. I feel like you could be lying to yourself. I feel like you're lying to yourself about your progress or like how far you've come. I feel like you're lying to yourself because of past trauma. I don't think you mean to do this. I feel like you just humble yourself because maybe you were used to people in the past humbling you. So naturally you humbled yourself, power number three. I feel like spirit is coming to say that you have reached the judgment point. Like you have reached the point where, you know, it's time. I see the with the judgment and with the hermit, it gives me you're on your way to the fulfillment. I feel like you need to stop trying to wave the flag, trying to throw in the towel, trying to say you're tired or trying to say, because I do this to myself too. I'll be like, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Like you psyching yourself out. I psych myself out all the time. And sometimes I really have to put my big girl head on, my big girl panties on and say, girl, you have to do this. It ain't no other, like I be having to put my sister mystic voice on. I think that's really who sister mystic is. This my voice that tell me, key that don't want to do what she don't what she knows she needs to do sometimes they hey you need to because i'm looking at your future and it's if you don't do this then your future is nothing i think that's what it is some of you guys are like 
steady waiting on a tree to to bear fruit, y'all. Steady waiting on something to happen. And I feel like y'all just have to trust that it's going to happen anyway. Like the judgment, trust in it. We don't have to, we don't know when the end of the world is going to be. But we know it's the end. We know that one day humanity is not going to be no more because it happened to the dinosaurs. With the emperor here. I feel like you guys need to start taking more control over what's going on in your circumstances. I feel like the lie is you think you have no control, but you do. I feel like you guys just, you. I feel like some of you guys, if you're a woman here, you could be focused on being beautiful more than you're focused on being beautiful on the inside. Like you're focused on the outside. You're not focused on the inside. I ain't been cute my whole life, so I focused on the inside first, and then this shit just radiated outward. Some of you guys need to get more rest. Y'all not getting as much rest, and that's the lie. You might be lying to people talking about you so well rested, you so this, you so that, and you're not. Like, I feel like some of you guys could be going through a manic period or a manic episode, and y'all don't know it. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I feel like, I feel like, you know, revealing myself to y'all. It's a lot of times where... I'll go into a manic mode where I'm just so, I have so, it's like a door open, like a valve open in my mind. And it's so much that flow through. Like, it's like a whole, it's like a whole different feeling. Like my creativity, like all of a sudden I'm thinking about doing something different. All of a sudden, you know, I stop everything I'm doing to, you know, feed this manic episode, to feed this energy, to see what's going on. I'm not saying you guys are in a manic mode, but I feel like at times you guys, you guys could not be managing that manic mode correctly. Like if I feel like I'm in a manic mode, I make sure I do things that's for the channel, um, for my business, or I do things that are for my house because I ain't gonna keep my money come before my house because don't nobody come in my house. You know what I'm saying? My house ain't crazy looking, but it's it's enough. Like I could be washing some walls or something. But all I'm saying is I feel like that's what y'all do. And I feel like because you have so much, I guess, in your mind, unfinished be unfinished business, you think that you're not getting ahead or you're not you're thinking you're not on your way to where you need to be. That's a lie. You have you it's like would you rather have no business or a lot of unfinished business? It's like at least you working on your business, at least you working to fix things. It's like you're a work in progress, you're not finished yet. Like, ain't nobody here to lie to you. I feel like you're lying to yourself. And if you feel like, oh, yes, yeah, plenty of people lying to me, it's because you're allowing it. You have everything in your power, in your DNA, within yourself to, like, lead these people along. If you feel like eight of cups, as I say this, some of you guys need to realize your beginning starts with yourself and it never ends with anybody else, you know? Ten of Wands, it's time to start, it's it's time to keep working. It's time to start, you know, believing in yourself and understanding what you're working towards, no matter, you know, where you're at in it. It's, it's going to happen. There's faith in who you are, faith in what you do. When I first started this channel in, what, 2022, I did not think that it was going to grow, and it didn't grow until, what, this year. It didn't really just grow like I wanted to until, like, really this year I'm starting to see, you know, a ton of people, 10 people coming to my readings, 30 people coming to my readings, 40 people coming to my readings. Actually, it wasn't even until last year that I know readings that I had forgot about blew up. Like I got 125 views on videos, 200 vi views on videos that I didn't even think at the time when I was looking at it, I didn't even think that they were going to get past 10. I think the first couple hours I posted it or the first week I posted, I probably only got five views. So it's like you have to continue to go through with it. Like, don't let people stop you. And if they're stopping you or you feel like they want to stop you, leave them. I, I'm an advocate for cutting people off. You must do it. In the Bible, you must cut people off in order to see what God wants you to see and to do what God needs you to do. Nine of Wands. You got to be willing to stand ahead, stand up, stand up on your own to feed. Baby, you got to be able to stand on business. I know y'all tired of hearing it, but baby, people don't know how to stand on business. The devil here. You scared of the devil? Baby, if the devil, he already damned. Baby, do you hear me? F the devil. He already damned. The devil can't keep you. Job in the Bible. Job went through all of this stuff for God to say. You see, he kept the faith. He lost his wife. He lost his kids. He lost everything he had. But he still knew that I was God. And that's fact. Job didn't do that. Go through that for nothing. Job went through that. So in 2024, we can literally say 
It don't matter if I get beat down in my back, if I lose this, if I lose that, I'm still going to walk with my, with my chest out because I know God got the ability to bring it all back to me. And one day, really, God don't take time. God, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I'm speaking on what I know. I done been through situations. I didn't even know how God was going to bring me out of it. I didn't even see no end. I ain't even. I, I didn't even know where it was going to end at. God, next thing I know, God said, you need to do this. And I'm like, why? God said, do it. I did it. And that's how, you know, I'm looking like, what in the world? And that's like, you know, I'm crying. I'm thanking God. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't deserve it. Oh, my goodness, this, this, and that. Like, and I'm thinking about, and then also, when I'm thanking God, I also think about the moments where I did not trust him. I also think about the times where I was just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain. But God said, do it. And the way he said, do it, made me do it. And I think you guys need to trust that. You know, whatever you're thinking about, whatever you feel like God putting on your heart, you need to do it. Stop, you know, stop putting yourself in this mental prison. Let yourself be free, okay? Like, please share, please subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all later.